forgot to film this intro until halfway through this video, so I'm filming it now. Don't mind this ponytail, it's just super, super curled. Look like I'm six today. Today's video is going to be a concealer review and like first impression video, which I have not done in a very long time. But this concealer is a new one by Benefit. It is their new Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I was lucky enough to try this concealer out before August 15th, which is when they launch this, so. I'm really excited to be able to try this out for you guys and give you guys the real tea the day that you guys can get it too. I already have the concealer on but I'm going to be doing a full day wear test so I am going to first show you guys how it goes on and my impressions on that and then kind of give you guys a 411 on everything from how it looks after you finish your makeup to how it looks at the end of your day because this is a 24 hour wear concealer allegedly. We will test that today, okay? Before we get into this, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already, so that way you never miss when I upload a new video. I upload three times a week, Monday, Thursday, Saturdays, for the most part sometimes. I might skip a little, but <laughs> life happens. And feel free to turn on your post notification bell, that way you never miss anything either, and you'll get alerted every time that I post. So that way you can stop whatever you're doing in your day and go watch my video, because priorities. Okay, and feel free to follow me on social media at glimmingso8 pretty much everywhere if you want to see other behind the scenes, YouTube type content, as well as other glam and ratchet parts of my life. But other than that, we're going to get right into today's video. Hey guys! So ignore my face. I'm halfway through filming a video for Instagram and I decided to hop on my other camera and film this portion of my makeup since I am going to be trying out the new Benefit Concealer. This again is called the Benefit Boing, Boing, Cakeless Concealer. It's supposed to be 24 hour long wear waterproof. 97% of women who tried this said it looked smooth and 94% said it didn't look cakey. It comes in 12 different shades. I received the shade number five, so I guess they think I'm light. That's actually pretty light. Looking at this little range too, I feel like I could have gotten like an eight and or a nine. Um, so this might be tragic. These retail for $22 and the whole point of this is supposed to be a full coverage concealer by Benefit that isn't cakey. Hence why it's cakeless. So we're gonna try this out. And I'm not gonna be using any color corrector, but I'm gonna be using this concealer not only underneath my eyes, but on these little scars that I've had popping up over my face. It's that time of the month, so my face hasn't really been liking me. But this area of my face actually cleared up really nice and smooth. It's just this scar on my chin and this little blemish right here, but we're gonna hope that this works. But you can already see how light this is. Oh God. I want to say the packaging is really cute. It's supposed to look like a little pencil, perfect for back to school. And the actual applicator is just a cushion tip applicator. And if I swatch this, ooh, the coverage looks really nice, but it, ooh, ooh. It feels nice, but still lightweight, but it's giving me that coverage. So we're just gonna try this, okay? Yeah, that is super light. I'm just gonna do two lines. Maybe a little bit on my nose. I'm about to change my ethnicity, y'all. So, so far right now, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels like a normal concealer. So I'm gonna start blending. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me? This coverage, it looks like I just put white out on my face. We're gonna excuse the shade in this entire video just because we can't really help that at this point. And I think that I'll be able to blend this because I have no other choice, but can we talk about this coverage for a second? I was not expecting this much. Oh my god. <laughs> that is crazy how much coverage that is. I zoomed you guys in just so you can see, but like so far, you can see like a little bit of my fingerprints as I'm tapping this, but this doesn't look cakey. That just looks completely smooth, but we'll really test it out when it comes time to powder this. So I'm just gonna start blending out everything else. Okay, so I tapped out everything on my face. I look like I'm about to audition for Cats or The Lion King. Again, just ignore the shade difference for right now. I will say though that the shade difference looks a lot more prominent on camera than it does in person. So, so far she likes it. This feels very comfortable on my face so far. It doesn't feel heavy and again, it looks 
looks pretty smooth on the skin. It's not like caking or anything, but I don't have powder yet. So I am going to go finish the rest of my makeup, including baking and setting this with powder, and then we'll be back in a second. Okay guys, she's back. I got this concealer to somewhat blend. It still looks a little light bright, but we gonna have to deal with it. So my thoughts so far on the concealer, super comfortable. This is definitely a full coverage concealer without being like really heavy and I don't like the feeling of having a whole bunch of makeup on my face and I especially always feel it if I'm wearing something that's full coverage, if it's matte at all, or if I bake. Today I baked a little tiny bit with the um, Becca Hydra Mist powder and then I just kind of wiped it away but I didn't bake for that long. But she's smooth. I want it to focus please and thanks. So you can see my under eye can we just talk about it? Very smooth, no cakiness, no creasing so far, but I've only had this on for maybe 30 minutes. So now the plan is to wear this for the rest of the day. Obviously I'm not gonna be putting this on for 24 hours cause she ain't got time for that. And I'm not about to sleep in makeup, but I will wear it for maybe six hours, which is I think a reasonable amount of time. Definitely a long enough time for my skin to start to get a little oily and freak out on me, so I am going to wear it for that long and we're gonna see what happens. And I'll be back to report to you guys. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, so we are back and it is now the end of the day. I have had this concealer on for about five hours. I know I said I was gonna do six, but I really just wanna take off my makeup and continue binge watching The Office, so that's what I'm gonna do. But within those hours, I did a lot actually. I went outside to take some photos, so I got hot real quick. My face got a little oily, I just blotted it. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. And honestly, the concealer, it has like slight creasing, but honestly it doesn't look that much different. And it also doesn't feel heavy at all on the face. I think I actually really like this concealer. I'm gonna insert a couple of images here, but I did take a picture with flash and without flash just to see if the concealer would be too bright and I had no problems. Again, obviously I didn't wear this for 24 hours, so that would be the true test, but I think five to six hours is a pretty good amount of time. I'm going to say that the Benefit Cakeless Concealer is pretty freaking good. I honestly can't tell you if it's supposed to be matte or dewy. It doesn't really say anywhere. Um, where's the box? It kind of felt closer to a matte concealer, but it doesn't dry you out. It's definitely not something that'll add dewiness to your skin, but I think it's just a pretty good soft matte concealer. I think that's the best thing. It definitely deserves the little pencil eraser thing because it erased my dark circles and my scars and blemish without me needing any color corrector, so that is a big one. This is really good as far as coverage goes. So I'm gonna say I recommend this concealer. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Benefit Cosmetics review. I've never done this before, never thought I would, and here it is. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you guys wanna try out as well as the concealer that you recommend I try. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see more review videos and first impressions, or give it a thumbs down if you don't. But I'm gonna get off your screens and let you guys get on to your day, and I recommend binge watch The Office if you don't have any other plans today, because that's what I'm gonna do. That should be the next video. Binge watch The Office with me. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.